Thank you so much. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip to Davis. Davis, if you want to. Well, good afternoon. My name is Davis Friendly. I'm a volunteer with SIL International, which is headquartered in Dallas, Texas, and we're a global faith based NGO that works in language communities around the world. And our core contributions are in Bible translation, literacy, education, development, linguistic research, and language tools. And it shouldn't, shouldn't surprise you that in the 21st century, uh, most of the language work happens on some kind of a computing device. And toward that end, our field systems group in Waxhaw, North Carolina, makes small solar power banks for laptops, tablets, cell phones, and, and vegans. Next slide, please. The particular project that I've been involved in, I've, I've dubbed SILT, S-I-L-T, for Solar Installation Lookup Tool. Uh, we need to know how much uh, sun we're going to get in various locations of the world as we deploy these small systems. And so SILT is a, a Google-enabled uh, front end to the Power API. And um, the thing that it brings is it includes a panel orientation um, for, that, for determining how much sun you're going to get. Next slide, please. So the front end looks like this. You've got a Google map that you can click on to get your coordinates, or you can type in the name of a place using the Google Places uh, API, and uh, that'll bring in your coordinates for you. And then you can see that you can set the panel tilt and the estimate. There's a drop-down box for the tilt that allows you to select uh, typical roof pitches. Uh, the one I've got here for Yaoundé in Cameroon is a four or three and 12 pitch roof at 14 degrees. And I've got my panels uh, tilted slightly to the east at 165 degrees. Next slide, please. The output comes back in both tabular and graphical format. And um, the graphical is really health. For instance, in Yaoundé, it's in the northern hemisphere. So you might think you get the most sun in the summer, but no, because you're below the Tropic of Cancer, you get the most sun uh, in the winter months when the, you know, the sun is to the south of you, whereas in the summer months, it's north of you. In fact, in this scenario, it's actually behind the panels. And you wouldn't necessarily know that if you don't live there and uh, you, you can't see that graphically. And of course, the peak sun hours, those are in kilowatt uh, hours per square meter per day. Next slide, please. There's lots of other uh, ancillary information that uh, you might find helpful. For instance, down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see where I've actually calculated the three different components of the insulation, the, uh, the reflected amount, the uh, diffuse amount, and the direct amount, all adding up to the total amount. The total is what we care about, but sometimes it's interesting to know that uh, here, here in Yaoundé, the diffuse in the winter months is actually stronger than the direct. Next slide, please. And just for comparison sakes, I present lots of the, uh, the uh, power parameters. Here's the, uh, the tilted surface series so that you can show that the, the, the numbers you're looking at for your surfaces are somewhat in range of what's coming out of the power API. And then, of course, I'm presenting the temperature because you might want to correct your uh, panel output for temperature and you might want to adjust the rate of charging your batteries for temperature as well. Next slide, please. So the way I actually use this is make a uh, API call uh, like the one on the left there, and you get back a JSON object, which is very easily converted to a, a JavaScript object. The entire project is in JavaScript, and it runs on the Google platform. So all the calculations are done on the Google servers. When I've been running this today, it takes about 24 seconds to get the data back from the uh, Power API, and then it takes three to four seconds to uh, do the calculations and, uh, and the presentation format. The graphs are actually done in the browser when you click on them. And of course, we use these results to uh, help us design and, and uh, dictate the size of battery and panels that we need to um, supply the load that the user is asked to supply. Next slide, please. And uh, our, our customers are uh, all around the world, lots of remote and underserved areas in, in Asia and Africa. And as uh, Dr. Crawley pointed out um, very early today, uh, there's not many ground stations in those areas, so you really wouldn't know what insulation you're getting there. And that's where the power API comes in. Also, the other thing the power gives us is that the, the location and the weather dependence is all bundled in there. What my uh, project adds is uh, panel orientation. Uh, which you don't necessarily get on a, a 
on a per degree basis uh, out of the Power API. And how does this help us? Well, we want to properly size the systems that we send out to the field for our customers um, so that they have um, the best productivity that they possibly can. Thank you for allowing me to participate today.